Kalai, and good evening from my shop. And uh, I think we're going to have some fun here. I'm going to uh, try to operate this radio before doing any work on it at all. That's that's my objective. So well, I shouldn't say that. I have to do one thing. I have to replace this power cord here. Power cord, which I'm going to show you something close here. I didn't really mention it in the previous video, but let me show you something here that's just a little bit surprising. When I was out cleaning off the asbestos, I realized that this isn't asbestos here. That's part of the power cord squished under this bracket. Look at that, eh? Holy smokes. Continuity meter in this case. I think that one. Yep. And what I'm going to do is uh, one side on the chassis, one side on that wire. It's this wire. This wire here. Wow. thought I'd hear a tone there. Let me switch it on. Okay, the radio switched on. Wow. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Totally, totally amazing situation there with that. <laughs> so what's that all about? Okay, so one of the power wires almost certainly was shorted right to the chassis. And I just checked the continuity between both power wires and the chassis. And there isn't any. Um, I'm looking around for any kind of ground connection that might be made uh, the, uh, in here. There should be at least one connection. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, maybe a capacitor and resistor uh, connected to ground. Hmm. Okay, I see a connection up here. I'm turn on my meter or it's not going to make much sound. There's one there. <coughs> Excuse me again. Here's another one. Yeah, so... Of course, you know, these, these leads, they just go into the transformer, the power leads. Wow, I, I just wonder what kind of effect that was having on the operation of the radio. I've seen wires pinched under these kinds of brackets before, but I've never seen one quite like this. And you know what? Maybe it wasn't shorted. Maybe, you know, and this thing's been sitting here, has not been operated for umpteen years. And in fact, when it was operated, the pinched wire wasn't shorted. But wow, how close do you want to get? Huh. Now. I'm going to remove this wire right from the switch here. And the other one's just connected right to this transformer wire. And it's just kind of out there. Just connected 
loosely to this wire. And I don't like the idea of cutting this one shorter. After another 500 years of being cut shorter, there'll be nothing left of it. I'm not going to just plug this in and power it up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply power with my high voltage uh, supply uh, to the high voltage circuits and just see how that goes before uh, before trying to plug it in, if I really do get to plugging it in. thunderous sound of cats running around upstairs. What I could do, just use my cheater cord when we get around to this. Oh, look at that, it's just, I ain't gonna have to cut it. I'm going to have to cut it. Okay, on that. Now, let's see. I should really dig up the uh, um, schematic for this radio. But first, where's the capacitor? right where the big high wattage resistor is. Check again with my meter. I think the ground connection is this one. So that's definitely the ground there. And there's a wire coming from that point that goes to here. I think 485 of that. <clears throat> Take a closer look at that. Let's 
start with uh, the ground terminal. Right there. That guy. And the wire I'm actually hooked up to doesn't connect, doesn't connect to it. <laughs> Couldn't see that with my eyes. That's the one I'm looking up to. Where is that going to? I thought went straight to ground. Here, oh, there's that uh, capacitor with the hook on it, right there. So it's not going to ground. I better dig up the uh, the. Uh, <coughs> so I just went through my uh, schematics in my book that I printed before, and. Uh, I don't have an A23, I have an A24, an A25. Uh, KL76 is the same radio by a different manufacturer. But then I was thinking, well, I'll have to print one for the A23, and I came across this one, M45, which looks to be exactly the right radio. Parts layout is exactly the same, same tubes. So I don't know what's going on here, M45, but this is going to help me anyway. According to this, the uh, filter capacitors are just grounded to the chassis. So why why is it I can't find? <coughs> Which of the filter capacitor terminals are grounded? Except for that one, which isn't quite grounded. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to go get an, an A23 for sure before I go any further. Okay, so I took a look at a, a schematic called an A23 uh, RCA Victor. It's exactly the same diagram as this one. It's exactly the same diagram. So what's going on there now with those uh, with that capacitor? Well, let me get in there for a closer look again. What am I missing? So there's one terminal with a bunch of red wires on it. That's no doubt the feed to the uh, non-output tubes. terminal where it has just a single wire. Read to my clip name. Let me get the clip lead out of there. Okay. And that tube, that's the rectifier tube there. Then the last shadows are kind of fooling me. That terminal is connected to this wire. It comes along. Wait a minute. Am I being fooled again here? Let me wiggle it. It's this wire. No, it goes right past that terminal. Comes down to here. There's a pin on a tube. Pin number, looks like pin number eight. Pin number eight. And that's probably the output tube there. Pin number eight. Pin number eight on the output tube. 6K6 output tube. Pin number eight is pretty sure to be the plate. Ah, uh, ok, 
it was a 470 ohm resistor going to ground. That's where I'm getting that reading from. Wait a minute, this is not, this is, I, I'm going nuts here. I'm going wacko. What is going on? So, here we come out of the tube, high voltage across here, through the filter, through the field coil, another filter, up through the output transformer to the plate. And this other connection goes up to the screen grid. Why, why am I thinking it's connected to pin number 8? It abrates the cathode, and this is just a cathode resistor and bypass. Oh, okay, I know why. Because this capacitor is part of that three-part capacitor. And that means the ground that it's relying on must be one of the little twisted parts on the can. That, so there isn't actually a ground terminal. There's three capacitor terminals. Okay, okay, the answer's gone. The answer is one. So I can go back to what I was doing, no problem. Which is fire up high voltage here. Just the this I was worried about where to connect the uh, this. Connect it on to there. Give me a minor second here while I get some. Uh, camera angles.